M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Doing a video on the RT Systems ICOM 705 radio programming software, which we've just purchased for $25. Now you can buy it with the cable, but I'm using a normal micro USB cable, good quality one, and it's working fine. So let's have a little play. First thing we'll do is open up the software and we'll read the radio. So we go communication, get data from radio, and I've just tested it and it's very fast, which I was quite pleased about. Just give that a minute. So click. it says here, turn the radio off, connect the cable, turn on the radio, and click OK. And it just reads the radio, literally. And it's quite fast. You can see it on the screen there. The, the micro USB cable, if you can see where my finger is, is on the bottom right of the, of the radio. Just lift up the flap and make sure you get the cable the right way around. You don't want to force that in there. Just push it, push it in gently. So here we are straight away. And let's just look at what we've got. We've got our memories now if you look on the left here all the banks are blank now if you want to see the banks just literally go and then see these different banks you can select one like so each time you add a channel you can put it into a bank so almost like a group group you know so let's go say we want that one to be in my jaw we'd go there and we can name banks as well You would go to settings, bank names and linking. We've only got a few in here. So if you want to add another one, say bank number five, call it, um, I don't know, home channels. Just just for example, home channels. And then you, you've named another bank, okay? Now, I don't think it changes straight away. Click OK. I think you need to uh, send it to the radio. So number four. Oh, it is there. That's good news, isn't it? See? So... Adding bank names is good. And why have banks? Well, for example, you could have one bank could be VHF channels, UHF channels, D-Star, digital, because uh, this is a HF six meter radio. So you could have one that's all HF and, and so on and so on and so on. Right, so how do we add a channel? Well, it's nice and simple. We will just go, we'll always put the frequency in first. So let's say a two meter repeater. We'd go one, four, five. Uh, dot 600 that's gb3wr it's already put the shift in for us it's fm we can give it a name so here we will just put gb3wr select the tone of course why do you need tones well the repeater won't open without a tone so tone and then you need to look go to the repeater website and you can find out what their repeater tone is but it's nearly always on two meters 94.8 on uh, 70 centimeter repeaters, it's normally about 77 hertz, and the shift is normally 7.6. Now, the shift is put in for you, but you can change that shift. If you went to this shift, if you went right to the top and see this blank bit, it means that basically says no offset. That's like having a zero, and I think that's worth knowing. But we're doing 600 kilohertz. I know it's confusing, but that's your, your local repeater put in straight away, and you can even set the power one of these along here, we're going to see power. Where is it? I'm sure it's here somewhere. Power. Well, when I see it, I'll let you know. But it makes sense to set your power level when you're doing this. So, next thing, um, let's have a look. You can add your, say, your hotspot. And we could have put that into a bank. So let's, for example, we could have gone settings, bank names, and we could have put called one repeaters. T-E-R-S, okay, so number six is repeaters. Click OK, so when, then when we created that one there, we could have gone, if, it has, if it's there, there it is there, repeaters, see? Right, so let's do our hotspot. So let's create another bank called hotspots, a bank name, and we'll call one hotspots. Because most of us these days have several hotspots. So we've typed in hotspots, click OK, and then that's my hotspot for D star is on 433, dot 550 it's a simplex jumbo hotspot it's simplex so we don't need a tone we do want to select dv um, and we're a bit more involved with a hotspot on them in a memory channel because we're not on dr mode at the moment you need to put in here cq 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 and then you want m0fxb with a b Good thing about RT systems, it will let you use multiple Bs. F, X, B, space, space. Keep going as far as you can, then go back one and put a B. Like so. Um, and then you want the G there. So copy, I'm luckily I'm copying 
what was there before m0 fx b space space go back one g and then you're set up then i don't think you need anything else there so that's you should be able to work your hotspot in your house now and then you know because it's a hf radio we should be able to type in seven megahertz now i've never done a hf memory before there you are it's found it straight away and then we can select lsb call it um 40 meters for now we're just testing remember these aren't final settings that da, da, da. that's good there you don't need to um decide the um any more than that i think so and obviously we could have named it yeah 40 meters we've done that so all these blank names you see here we can we can actually i am using them we can name them now if we like if you've forgotten it so that's my hot spot there hot spot there and then that's another one for gb3 wr here gb3 wr i recognize that one that's my open spot because it's so long-winded when you're using the radio there's another there's 40 meters there again hot spot so lots that i haven't bothered to name <laughs> and at the same time you can sort of look to see if you've got all your settings right and your shifts right and you can make changes you've got data mode selections there so okay so let's keep thinking now the other interesting thing about rt systems is that every time you read the radio it opens a new window see that so if you do make a mistake you can always revert back to how you started right let's have a look now let's think about adding say a load of repeaters in there so what we'll do is we'll go file um external data and repeater book is a free program and it is linked to rt system so i'm going to put bristol i'm going to put two meters 70 and six meter repeaters because i've got one near me and then i'm going to choose not too far i'll go 30 miles you can use kilometers if you want there's 30 miles click ok and it's going to find a load of repeaters which it's done now which is very handy isn't it so what you can do is you can click here and i hope if we click control a it should select them all but if it doesn't because i've noticed it doesn't sometimes um let's see if we if we click create file at the bottom here create file for 705 let's see if it will let me copy and paste then otherwise we just use the mouse to slide down create file let's not put that in there has done that though right well let's do this let's go hold it down until we get to the bottom of these repeaters then we'll click copy no it's not going to let me until it creates a new file so I'm not really sure why it did it that way maybe we need to create it in this thing here go file external data repeater book no because we've already done that search so yeah i need to find out why it won't um so select all we've got select all there copy and let's click here and then go paste right click paste ah that's worked so see how we did it so we have the repeater book search and we clicked select all here at the bottom or you can unselect so that's good so we've done that and then we can add it to our channels there We've got a load of repeaters. We've added some memory channels and changed them. Then if we want, we can go to the radio menu settings up here, settings, radio menu. Bit of a pause. And we can start looking at all these different settings. So common, the first common, and then you're getting here like TX record. So it's like recording, QSO history, remote, or Bluetooth settings there as well. Common to speech lock main dial. The one I like to do is the GPS. So here it is. Here now we've got SSID of minus two. DPRS is on. Is already selected. So this will make us show up on APRS FI. You do need to sort of uh, enable APRS on your hotspot if you're going to go that way. So we're showing. Might as well show some power. Nine watts. Most things have already been selected on. So we've got SSID 2, GPS message. So we just go A-N-D-R-E-A-S, high for now. 
And I'm pretty sure there's one there. Here it is. 75 mobile, and I can put Southwest UK. Like so. You've got more than one to choose different message that you just change number. But that is set to on nine watt logger. So I think we've pretty much got everything there. But can you see that, you know, there's so many things being set. Loaded display settings here. Kia settings, wireless LAN. Look at that. Well, that's handy, isn't it? We can set our IP address. Just looking at what else is there. DVD, what's that? Filters, RTTY, tone control, and it goes on. I mean, look at it. It's a extent scope settings. We can do that here if we want. Presets, lots of selections there. Slide a little slider here for more. I'm going to put yes for that. And then if you look here, I've noticed these preferences are quite good. Preferences, well, some things have already been ticked to not show. Do you remember I couldn't find the power? So it looks like a lot of things have been selected too. I think when you select them, they don't show, if I remember right. I don't remember this. I'm going to apply anyway. And it's showing in the list at the top. Oh, yeah, look, it's sort of... I can see why it's done it, because it makes everything so small with lots of things there that you wouldn't be using. But I was looking for the TX power. So da, 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 is that not in the main sort of settings? you think that would be needed, wouldn't you? Uh, da, da, da. Well, I'm blind to it, but I still can't see TX power. Operating mode, polarity mode, filter. So maybe that's in a different menu setting. Right, so we've made that tiny now. So the next thing, what else can we look at? You've got a sort section. If you go down, go to sort, and then you can choose how you can sort things out. You've got ascending, descending, selected, all channels, all channels. So look, these are all the different options of how you can sort things. Next sort column. I've never used this, but for some people, they, they would, you know, they would use this. So once you've done that, Go communications. I think that's enough for now. You need to just sit there and play and learn, learn the system. Bank names, show split column. Oh, the D star ones, the D star calculator. I've seen Karen playing this, and so you can sort. This is a way of sort of fine tuning what you're doing with the, all the D star um, DR memories. I think let's go to DR memories. Now this is all your DR memories here. And uh, yeah, there's hundreds, isn't there? And again, you can change these, get all your information, get your GPS. You can actually sort out the, it, you know, with the, in the sort thing, you can actually sort out your GPS. If you click GPS here, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if you sort it out here or if you sort it out in D star. Remember, I'm learning this. I'm not an expert. I'm just showing you that I've got it and I'm learning it. So D star and we've got all these different selections here. What I'll do, I'll link in a video by Karen on the 705. Hopefully that will help you. So that's it. And when you've done everything you want to do, go communication, send data to radio, click OK. We're going to send it. You can see it flashing away. And then we'll have a quick look at what I can see on the radio and then we'll end the video. So. I have looked at the ICOM software, and that that is good software, and it's free. Obviously, this is $25. What's the upside to getting RT systems? Well, it's very easy to copy from from program to program, RT systems program to program. Also, if you become very familiar with this program and you buy, say, a ICOM 7100, for example, you're going to be very familiar with RT systems if you're used to using it, and so you don't have to go do that now. It's asking me to turn it on and off here. When I, when I sent the new data. I don't think I had to do that with the ICOM software. What I'll do, I'll run a, a video where you, it shows the ICOM and the RT system software side by side, but I think they're both good. So, right, let's just hit memory channel for now. We'll just tap the screen to go into memory mode. Like that. Look, you can go, tap the screen. That's VFO. Tap the screen. Hit memo. 
and you've got AB there as well. So anyway, let's just click back, and we're now on our memory challenge. We're just going to use the multi knob, and look, just flick through. And there's a load of the uh, the memory channels we were playing with. You can change banks. I'm pretty sure to change banks groups, you just go memory, and then you go group here. Choose a memory. So let's choose my jewel for example and you're in that group there you can scroll through what you've put there's not much in that one group let's go back to that one there and there's all your different memory channels and then dr mode hold down here underneath the twin B pbt button just hold down the call button and you're in dr mode you can tap that you can Turn down, click near repeater all because this will. Oh, I haven't got a lock at the moment, but look, it finds your near repeater. Select one that you like at the top, select two, go to reflector, select it, and click use reflector. And now we can talk on our hotspot. We, oh, we've got our open spot in there as well. I've got a couple of hotspots. You can actually set in uh, on the 705 and the 52, you can actually in DR mode. You can actually use analog repeaters. Why use DR mode? Well, it packages everything in a format where it's easy to sort and say the near repeater search uses the GPS, but that's all packaged in the DR system. So I think it's very good, the DR system. So, okay, I think I waffled on enough. So thanks for watching my channel. There's way, obviously way more to this software than I could ever tell you about. Like I said, I'll link um, RT Systems in some of their videos. And let me know what you think. If you prefer using RT Systems or would you rather use the Icom original software. So 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to subscribe. And catch you on air. All the best.